Hold on, somebody's literally staring at me, so I'm pretending to be on my phone. <laughs> Strap up. You ready for war? <laughs> Go I want good. I go I want good. I go I want good. My neck, oh, blood on my set, oh, water on my wrist. She got it wet, wet. I'm on a ski. Hey, hello. How are you? Me, I'm okay. I'm good. I'm actually great. Not, I don't know. That might be pushing it. <laughs> but I am good, I am thankful, I am happy today because we're gonna do something fun and exciting and something like, ah, ooh. And that is shop for my kitchen appliances. Ah! Yes, it's crazy stuff going on with countertops, and carpets, but it's time to choose kitchen appliances. And I wanna bring y'all along with me, like a little store walkthrough, talk to y'all a little bit. Let's get some like, thoughts flowing i'm gonna show y'all what i want what i'm looking for you know what i'm saying just like a little walk through and i want y'all to tell me what kind of appliances do you prefer do you prefer freezer at the side freezer on the bottom freezer on the top french doors double doors single door stainless steel black stainless steel white let's talk about it because this is exciting this is like the closest i'm gonna get to home decor right now okay so you know, it's like like the decoration of my kitchen but also like you know i take it very seriously because i don't plan to buy kitchen appliances for a very long time so i definitely am not going into this getting temporary solutions to upgrade down the line uh-uh uh-uh nah my focus is trying to get the best quality for the best price for longevity and something I'm truly, truly happy with, both aesthetically and financially. <laughs> Anywho, I'm outside of Home Depot and my son looked just girl. I am hungry. I can never stand track. Let's go see what they got and let's talk about it. Okay. 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 So obviously I'm gonna have my mask on and I don't feel like doing the whole voiceover thing, right? So I'm gonna try to talk loud enough to where you can hopefully hear me. That'll be great. Home Depot, let's go. Okay, Home Depot with the black Santa. We got them same hazel eyes. Yeah, I love that, I love that. Oh my God, y'all, hold on. Y'all know I done spotted it. Oh my God, to get her. I mean, not today, we ain't got no money for that, okay? But look at her, oh my God. I feel like this is one of those things though, is when you see it, you get it, or it'll be gone. Can you imagine that in my yard? That's me saying, I'm here guys, I'm in the neighborhood. We need to find out how much she costs. Let's see, let's see, where you at baby girl? Where you at? Wow, that's not bad at all actually. I'm just gonna grab her just in case. You know, she's just gonna, she's just gonna ride with us real quick, okay? See, this is why I don't allow myself into like TJ Maxx and Home Goods because this. I literally have banned myself from home decor stores because I know we ain't ready for that, right? But let's go to the kitchen appliances. Okay, real quick. <laughs> Y'all know I can't help myself, okay? But this ladder right here, that's 149. I think it's this one. I'm pretty sure it's this one. But the 18 foot ladder, it's 149. The Gorilla Ladders is gonna be $79.99 on Black Friday at Home Depot. So that's gonna be one of my, you know, Black Friday finds. I'm not gonna do like huge, huge Black Friday shopping, but realistically, I'm gonna use that as an opportunity to get some things that I really, really need. And this will be one of them. So that's like almost half price. So this will be a good buy for anybody who needs a ladder. And it has really, really good reviews. I just wanted to share that if anybody didn't know. Here we are, appliances. All right, let's check it out. Now let's talk refrigerators first. So I am going to, before I even start, I'm gonna insert a picture of like my dream kitchen set. I'm not even gonna play myself and pretend, okay, that I can A, afford that, <laughs> 
you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Without like putting it all on a credit card, being in debt for a kitchen set. Absolutely not. They rude, they are so rude. Like how dare you do your job in your workplace while I'm trying to do things. By the time I'm able to get like my dream dream home or who knows what the future will bring, that that would even be still my style. <laughs> but look at it y'all, it's just so beautiful. It's so me. I just wanted to share that in saying that's what ultimately would be like the best dream for my first home. Again, we're not gonna lack on quality. We're not gonna go too cheap, but we're not gonna go like, you know, outside of budget to where I'm having to put it on credit cards. Anywho, here we go. So for me, I am wanting a bottom freezer french door with an ice maker on the front right doesn't have to be like triple doors and all that but this here like this for example i like this i really like y'all what i will say that i've learned through Trust me, I do extensive research when it comes to reviews and stuff. And while a lot of Samsung products are beautiful, they have horrible reviews when it comes to appliances. Samsung does great <laughs> on TVs and things like that. Appliances, they do not have the best reviews. Do your own research, you know, create your own opinion. But that's what I've learned. So I'm leaning in towards LG as I mean, their reviews aren't perfect, but from what I've seen, I really, really do like them. I like this here because I enjoy that screen here, right? I enjoy that. A lot of the higher tech ones have this, but it's like a, like an actual screen. Oh, let me show you, I'm gonna show you. Let's go back, let's go over and I'm gonna show you what I mean. La 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 la, la la la. Okay, so boom. So for example, this is a Samsung kind of like the same style same thing but this screen is like usable like like you can like go on the internet on this screen I think this one's like kind of jacked up okay we close that so this one's like look if you really want to get high tech control your smart devices you can connect it you can like you know food things like that it's really cool, but I am not the kind of person who wants to stand in front of my fridge and type. I learned that when I got a touchscreen desktop computer and I just tried to use it once and I felt stupid as hell just sitting there tapping on the screen. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's not for me. Um, so I don't need all of this on a fridge, but the LG, let's go back. There it is. Oh, it's closer than I thought. But the LG, for example, this one isn't turned on, but this has that effect, that nice sleek look. When you knock on it, the light comes on, right? You're able to see what's in this little tray area, like your drinks, your fridge, and things like that. And it's more of a energy efficient purpose. So you're not constantly having to just like open your fridge over and over to see what you have. You can boom, knock light it up maybe if I go to another store I'll show you how it lights up if that one lights up but yeah this lights up there's a separate tray here that just kind of gives you access to your waters your almond well your milks <laughs> this one too I like the fact that it has both the ice and the water maker and it has an extra ice maker underneath here so double the ice right and when you open this here you don't have that big um thing that how hold your eyes it's kind of like hidden away into this area so i like that so this is one that i'm really really looking at i just want to be able to find a good deal on it like in some type of a package type situation so that's like my main my top pick right now i really love the kitchenaid brand but realistically, baby, she's just a, she's a little much. You know, this is just the fridge. Um, yeah, but I like the sleek 
vibe of the KitchenAids. Like, it has such a commercial type vibe. Soft clothes, baby. That's how you know KitchenAid do it right. Ooh, just so luxe. Gray on the inside. See, this is like when I was looking for houses and I was going into model homes that I didn't have no business going into because I knew I couldn't afford it. Let me stop playing. I'm gonna close this up because this is gorgeous. I love the sleek design and edginess of this one. Absolutely. So yeah, love that. Okay, let's take a look at something else. I don't have a huge selection at this store. Like the other stores have a bigger refrigerator section. But this one's nice too though. What do y'all think about, I don't know what you call it. It's like split in four ways. I know there's a name for it, let's see. This is the four door flex French door. So one thing I do notice is when this one comes, the light is like, ah. So I love that. Okay. I like the idea of opening four doors, not just, oh yeah, I like that. I actually really like that. It's kind of like you have like mini freezers at the bottom, but it's all attached. This is extremely like sleek. I like the flat panel on this, ice and water dispenser. I don't know, ever since I saw that little screen here on the LG, I just feel like that the blank spots are missing something, but I know it's probably like a mental thing. Tell me what y'all think about that. Now here's one similar to the one that I want, but it's a more expensive version because it has an extra drawer. As you can tell, it's just a little more, oh, here's an example of the door. Right, you see that? You just walk by. Do you have anything to drink? Oh yeah, I do, or, Oops, nope, I don't. I said I never had to open the fridge. But I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of the black stainless steel. What do y'all think about black stainless steel? I think it looks really nice and sleek as well. But it's just closer to just black appliance for me, so I don't know. Bless you. So real quick on the stoves, okay? <laughs> Real quick on the stoves, let me take you to what I originally was going to go with, right? It's something similar to this. Definitely want a glass top, right? But I'm thinking like, okay, so this is going to be my stove in my home. While I don't want to break the bank and just like over, over, over spin, I am going to consider this an investment because I don't want to down the line, have to change it out or feel like I'm going to do that. I also want to be able to add backsplash in my kitchen down the line. And if I have that like extra lip in the back, it's going to limit me and it's also going to look less sleek. So mind your way. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just listening. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I was taking pictures to show my wife. Yeah. Trying to get a new See, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing like, the oh, same, and good. I'm just like, you know, I, I like document my yeah. little kitchen experience, so yeah. <laughs> hey, that's good. <laughs> you can put it on the computer to look back and say, no, nah, I don't like that one. I like exactly. That. I don't remember what I was saying about that one. That's too. the purpose. <laughs> Nothing like live footage, right? If, if you can't be happy at what you're doing when you especially going and cooking in your kitchen, then you got to make the right decision. You don't have to eat. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> I, I do the cooking, not my wife. So yeah. My wife says, oh my goodness. Pick up one. So I said, okay, I'll take some pictures and I'll send it to uh -huh. you. Uh huh. And then. We so you do the cooking and the picking, huh? Yeah. First of all, me and this man talked for like ten real life human <laughs> minutes. He was a talker. He was a talker, <laughs> but he was nice. I mean, this man pulled up pictures of the sushi him and his wife had the other day. <laughs> <laughs> he had a good vibe though he had a good vibe you have a beautiful evening it was right. nice speaking with you thank you well stay safe
Good luck with your kitchen stuff. Thank you. <laughs> but again, for the backsplash, I feel like it's gonna A, cover up a lot of the wall, not to allow it to show. I'm not gonna do backsplash to like down, down, down the line probably, but I think that flush is gonna be my best option to really emphasize a backsplash. And if I get one like this, like I've always had, I'm always just going to want that flush look. So I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna need to get another appliance. So, okay. All transparency, thinking of spending anything over $1,000 for a stove is like, oh, hell no, hell no, <laughs> right? But the type of stove that I want and keeping with the same brand with the whole package, I think I might have to swallow that investment but I'm not willing to pay retail price. Like, I need to find this on a deal, period. But this ultimately is the type of stove that I want. Really, really like this. Will not pay that price at all. But this is like what I want. At first, I was okay with like mismatching it and kind of mixing it up but I have decided that I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna stick with one brand for my kitchen whatever brand that may be but I am leaning towards LG so like yeah I really I really want a glass top like I have just become way over you know putting my pots on the stove on those burners that are like <laughs> half the time uneven they get super, super dirty underneath so easily and you have to constantly clean out the trays. Now, if I had gas, this would be my ultimate because I, pref I, I really, I really like gas, but my house isn't gas, so we're gonna have to let go of that dream. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I don't want. And I'm not in any way talking down on it, baby, because this is all I've had in any place that I've lived in, just so we're clear. So we're not above anything, but this is definitely just not the aesthetic or the style that I want moving forward. I'm over it. Is it just me or like eventually, like I said, these like move and they become crooked when you put the pots on, they don't burn evenly. And then on the inside of there, it always collects so much dirt or so much food. And it's just a lot a lot so you know I appreciate the times that we've had but I gotta go now I have to have to pay respects you know pay my dues you know give some love to the only fridge that I have ever known okay the only type of fridge that I have ever known and that is just the good all white fridge I've never even have had a black appliance, okay? I've always had white in my apartments. I've always had white. I mean, kind of like this to a T. And baby, it's it's gotten me where I need to be. It's kept my food cool enough. You know, it, it's held my groceries just fine. You know, the good old basic freezer. It, it's it's kept my things frozen. A little frostbit, a little frostbit, but it, it's done its job. So again, you know, I want to say I, I appreciate the times that we had. I'm super super thankful for all that you have done for me. But we're moving on. What do y'all think about this one here, where it has like the French doors, the bottom freezer, but no actual handles. How do you open this? How do you open this? Oh, underneath. Underneath. I honestly don't know if I want to open my freezer from underneath. I don't know. Let me, let me, let me practice. If I come up to it, I'm just grab it underneath it. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I think that's weird. For these drawers, I get it. Right? That's nice. I like the separator. I do like the separator. The LG, I don't think, has a separator. I like that. I don't know how I feel about the grabbing under to open the freezer. Feels like just kind of strange. I don't know. Let's go to the dishwashers. Now the dishwashers. Dishwasher will probably be the last thing I'd actually like choose choose because it's going to boil down to the brand of my refrigerator and stove. 
but I do want to with the handle that way I'm not having to like put my hand anywhere and try to open it I just want to be able to kind of pull it open I don't know maybe it's just me I just feel like that's just simpler so yeah I like that black stainless steel strangely and the dishwasher I mean I like black stainless steel but I don't know I don't know I don't love it i prefer stainless steel over everything else if i'm not going with white trimmed in gold like that set that i showed you that overall is my top pick like white trimmed in gold is my kitchen want so yeah like this handle Ooh, look at that i don't know nothing about dishwasher y'all but i like the way it looks how you doing? I think there's a rack on the spinning rack on the very top too. So there's a oh wow! There. Like an extra rack. Yeah, I think there's a spinner. There's a little spinner that spins up there too. Oh no, I don't think a it's. Circle spinner. Oh yeah, it is circular. So you can wear your flatware and stuff. Oh wow! See, I didn't even see that. Thank you. <laughs> so it's like three trays: silverware here. There's also the spinner here. So yeah, oh wow. She just kind of showed me something that I didn't even notice on this one. Which one is this one? LG. It's LG, see? It's just calling me. Boom. See, I like this KitchenAid too. And this one has a hidden handle. Oh yeah, so oh wow, okay. Oh wow, look at the space in the KitchenAid though. I think the fact that they put things in here just to kind of display gives you a better look of what it'll fit. I like that. I only paying $1,100 for no dishwasher though. So I like the boxy sleekness of KitchenAid. Like it's just something about their design. But yeah, I am going to probably go to Lowe's to see if they have like anything different or the same thing. We'll take a look together. Is this fun or no? Are y'all glad I brought y'all with me? I am. I like bringing y'all with me. It's like we shopping together. You know what I'm saying? Even though people looking at me like I'm crazy. Yes, I'm talking to my friends. <laughs> now the real question is should I, should I get this y'all? I feel like I should get it just in case. Just in case, right? <laughs> Comment below if you think I got it or not. Back in the car. I think I, <laughs> I think I'm pretty um reserved and I have this resting don't mess with me face, but people love to like spill their lives to me for some reason. Like that happens so often by me just saying hello or just like starting conversation with people. I don't know, I always encounter it. You know, people just, they get comfortable. <laughs> but he was really, really nice. It's all good. Sometimes it's good to talk to a stranger. I think he enjoyed that. <laughs> Anywho, we went into Home Depot. That was a smaller Home Depot. They didn't have like a big, well typically they don't have a huge, like section for her appliances but that one was a little cramped if that makes sense so i'm about to go to lowe's it's really home depot and lowe's that i'm looking at other stores are pretty much online but yeah we're gonna go into lowe's and see what they have if anything different they're pretty much kind of the same they kind of mirror each other in a sense but sometimes you can find some things at one that you can't find at the other so you always have to check the boat right we're gonna go to lowe's and i will take y'all in there with me as well strap up you ready for war <laughs> oh my god y'all look it is cheaper too look at it is it overkill to have to y'all this ain't even in my budget right now like if i don't get this now it's gonna be gone i think it says merry christmas or something i don't i don't really care for that to be honest kind of throws off the aesthetic <laughs> But I guess you do have to throw in a little Christmas theme. Oh my God, y'all look at it. She's like sitting real pretty like, <laughs> yes, it's me. The book. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, it tells me. What that say? Al G H B A T. All right, whatever the hell that means. All right, thank you. 
Like I said, she's the only one. Oh, like recording it. <laughs> oh my God. Look, it's all gone. Now I have to get her right. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Sorry for the noise. See, this is what I'm talking about. A much bigger selection. So let's take a look. Oh my God. It's a little, it's a little dingy, okay? It's pretty dingy. I don't even think the camera's picking all of it up. Yeah, it's definitely, look, it, even, it opens pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, nah. I love a good deal, but I definitely, you know, don't want something partially operating, if that makes sense. Oh my God, look here. This is legit, the cafe fridge. <laughs> when you have the whole set together, it really comes to life, but the simplicity of this, I like it to be the one that has the ice maker, obviously. Yeah, this is like rough. This was definitely a display for some time, and people have been putting this thing to work for sure. But it's a good deal. Now I'm thinking, if this was $34.29, that's not 50% off of that. So is this 50% off of this? If that's the case, that's a really good deal. Oh my God, no, you have to be kidding me. Hi. <laughs> oh my God, y'all, what the hell is going on? Look at this. What is gas? I cannot make this up. I can't make this up. Yeah, but nah. <laughs> I have electric, this is gas. So yeah, this wouldn't work. But yeah, this is like literally this, that, and that. It was like my dream set. <laughs> and I'm like, what the heck are the odds that this is like on such a good price? But I have to let that go. That won't work for me. Nah, <laughs> I I can't make this up. I, this isn't even a Lowe's that's by my house. Like, so I never come to this Lowe's. What are the freaking odds? Now again, this is gas. I obviously can't get this stole, but you get to see the beauty in the flesh, like the vision of it. It is such a beautiful set. If it's brand new, I definitely if it's brand new. Um, Cause if you're going to spend a good coin on, you know, like your dream, kitchen set you don't want to buy it half ass you know what I'm saying everybody's been opening and closing and opening and closing it but how beautiful is it oh, this is like midnight baby all black Ooh, this closet. oh it's just so pretty I'm so glad y'all get to see it in the flesh the knobs it's not like that super super yellow gold it's like a bronze <laughs> oh my god this is crazy i feel like lowe's knew i was bringing y'all here and they were like hey let's let's show them what it really does what it was really like let me move because i obviously can't get this set today let us get back to reality here's that same one that i like from home depot but this one turned on so you get to see the stainless steel one in effect. Here's one just like that, but it has an extra drawer. It's more expensive. And obviously what makes it more expensive is that extra drawer. Also it has like a couple extra features. The only one that I really, really know of is this um, like changeable little piece right the one that I am looking at like the more the less expensive version of this doesn't it's just flat here but y'all know me I have plans of like finding this part because it, to me it looks the same comes off so I will legit take this off and put it in the other fridge and see if it fits am I your way sorry no, no, no. <laughs> I am put it in the other fridge just to see if it fits I will locate that what is your favorite finish for 
appliances. Here's also one very similar to the other LGs, but it doesn't have like any ice dispenser. Nothing on the front now. Hi. Hey. Yeah, it's my brother. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Real good? Yeah. Oh, okay. Not when we were younger, but now most definitely. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. We're talking a lot about you. Good yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, no, don't know your name. Renee. Renee? Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, this worker at Lowe's just told me that I like I'm his sister. I did it. Fuck it. Do it for the culture. <laughs> Why not? Oh yeah, but what I was saying was, I had um, asked some people at work, like I chatted them and was like, do y'all have ice dispenser? No ice dispenser. And everybody's like, I have one, can't live without it, you need it, all that good stuff. So I just kind of reconfirmed and I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. So I don't feel like I'm missing out down the line. <laughs> I said, how, how are you? You guys good? I was like, not when we were younger, but you know. <laughs> oh, let me show you all the microwaves real quick. Like, microwave and dishwasher will boil down to what the stove and fridge is gonna be. So I'm probably just gonna have not necessarily like basic basic, but also like a basic microwave. I, I, don't, I don't need the best of the best in microwaves, y'all. A microwave is a microwave. I just love KitchenAid's handles though. I love KitchenAid's handles. They're just so luxe looking to me. What type of microwave do y'all have? And what is your preference? This is another one I was looking at because I love the illumination and also the double dispenser. This is Whirlpool and it's priced really good. I feel like Whirlpool is like an OG, been in a game. Like quality and they know appliances because they do appliances, you know? So yeah, Whirlpool, it's not super, super like fancy screen here, but it's solid. Quality. What do y'all think of Whirlpool? I was also maybe looking at Frigidaire, but just not sure of Frigidaire. But yeah, so I have confirmed that I won't be able to interchange these because this is longer. But damn, I thought, right? Does it close? No. Welcome back, y'all. Sorry, my camera died. So there's that. But y'all enjoy our little walkthrough, our little kitchen appliance shopping. I am glad that I recorded. I'm glad that I brought y'all along with me because I really do want y'all thoughts, suggestions, opinions, maybe what you prefer, what you think. It was a really good trip. And I feel like it was meant to be because we saw that kitchen set, although I couldn't get it, although it just wasn't the right situation for me. <laughs> I just think it, it was, what were the odds, right? What, what, what was the chance of seeing that set? <laughs> well, yeah, before going out to Lowe's and Home Depot, y'all, I have done so much extensive, long days, long nights, research, reviews, and a lot of these appliances. So in my mind, I kinda know what I want, right? But again, I'm waiting to get the best price available. I'm not paying retail for nothing. That's a fact. So definitely wish me luck. Um, tell me what y'all think, tell me what y'all like in the comments below. I'm excited to share this video with something like fun and exciting because something else is coming and we're making more progress on one part, at least, you know, despite the rest. And to think that I have appliances, y'all, I haven't had a mini fridge for almost a year now. Yeah, I love mini fridge. She does what she does. She's, she, she does what she does, but I ain't had a refrigerator in almost a year. You're talking to somebody who really hasn't had appliances in almost a year, so I have definitely been sacrificing. So I deserve this. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel, y'all, it really does. The more you thumbs it up, the more YouTube recommends it, the more people see it, the more our family can grow. So make sure you do that. Comment below what you thought. I'm gonna try and bring y'all along with me as much as I can in the midst of it all. Um, I appreciate all the love and support that y'all have given me so, 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 so much. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. I go where I want good. I go where I want good. I go where I want good.